My question for you is why did you let the trolls on Twitter win by silencing you? <laughs> I got a few questions about Twitter. So if you don't know what happened, um, I deactivated my Twitter account. If you'd ever been to my Twitter account, you know that in my bio I wrote, I hate Twitter. And I do hate Twitter. Um, I, I have hated Twitter for a long time. My deactivating of my account had nothing to do with being silenced by Twitter trolls. I wasn't really being trolled. Um, I, the, uh, what happened was, okay, so why, sorry, I've got a hair right here. Why I hate Twitter is why I deactivated the account. I, I hate Twitter because I have, I take an ethical issue with the platform. The ethical problem I have with it is Twitter over time, now it didn't start off this way, but it did eventually become what I think should be a utility. I think Twitter is a utility because, um, and I plan on doing an actual video on this and putting it out on YouTube, like a professional, you know, one of my videos. Um, but basically Twitter, sorry, I don't know where this is coming from. Twitter is, um, once politicians got on Twitter, and started to give uh, information to the people directly through Twitter, it became a, a utility, essentially. It became essential to democracy in order to hear what politicians are saying. Once the president of the United States is on Twitter, talking to, you know, saying things on Twitter, it becomes essential that people have access to Twitter. This means that I do not agree with Twitter banning people. I do not agree with Twitter um, silencing people because Twitter to me is like a town square where you've got your politicians standing at the pulpit and they're talking and people should be able to stand in the crowd and say whatever they want and, and turn to their neighbor and say something different, you know, that opposes the person standing at the podium. And, um, so Twitter has become a town square and I disagree with Twitter banning and silencing and deplatforming people specifically especially people like alex jones for example who um in order i you know i never saw a tweet from alex jones why because i didn't follow the guy you have to follow someone to see their tweets or you have to seek out their profile right i guess people could retweet people that you follow could retweet and stuff but essentially you know you kind of have to choose to, to be exposed in one way or another to somebody. So I, I take issue with Twitter in that. Then on top, so because I consistently believe that Twitter is a town square and that a politician, politicians are giving us information and they shouldn't be silencing or banning any, anybody, to remain consistent with that, I believe that the accounts that are on Twitter should not be anonymous. And I still firmly believe this because in a town square you cannot wear a mask you cannot wear a hood you have to be you now do you have to wear a name tag in a town square no but you are being surveilled and if you were to do something harass somebody do something illegal um or or just bully somebody we'll eventually figure out who you are right we're going to identify you there's going to be photographs and video of you and it's going to circulate probably on twitter and people are going to figure out who you are and that's the way that goes. We've seen that happen numerous times on Twitter where people catch a video and it goes viral and it's somebody doing or saying something and they say, who is this? Locate this. And then eventually the person's figured out and then their life is ruined. So like a town square, um, because I believe Twitter is a town square, I do not believe that you should be able to remain anonymous on Twitter. Now, this does not mean that I do not think that you should be able to remain anonymous in other parts of the internet. Sure, be anonymous on Reddit, be anonymous on 4chan, 8chan, you know, all these other on uh, write articles under a pen name, uh, a blog under a pen name, you can be anonymous for sure. Just not on Twitter. Because Twitter is a public forum space that is used by politicians. That is a public town square now. So the implications of allowing people to remain anonymous on Twitter, uh, many, many, many implications to this. One of them, I mean, just think about democracy. First of all, democracy is at risk because you've got politicians that are on there saying something, and then you get all of these nameless, faceless trolls 
that go and say, oh, bad idea, bad idea, blah, 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 blah. Right. And they go on and on uh, and they they um, bombard our politicians with with uh, hatred and negativity. And politicians are people. They can't help it. OK, they're human beings. So they eventually read these comments and then they start to question themselves and they start to think, oh, am I making the right choice? Am I doing what my constituents want? So these nameless, faceless trolls are able to essentially control, in a way, our democracy through this mobbing on Twitter without any consequence to them. They're able to mob our politicians into thinking a certain way or, uh, or, or uh, crafting a certain narrative. That is dangerous to our democracy. That is a, kind of what we were talking about with, you know, oh, Russia was infiltrating or whatever. Okay, a quick way to stop any infiltration is, is to force people to all be verified. Twitter has this dichotomy going on where half the people are verified and you know who they are. And that's why you go. Here's the other thing. Like, you know, I get it. Some of you want to remain anonymous, nameless, faceless on Twitter. But why are you there? So, by the way, I do have a Twitter account. It's just anonymous now. I took mine down and, you know to remain consistent with some of you guys who really want to, you know, who want to argue that you should be able to remain anonymous. How fun is it for you that I'm now anonymous, that I'm now nameless and faceless on Twitter? Not very fucking fun, is it? Right. So you don't know who I am or what I'm doing or, you know, you're there because you want people who are, who you know, who you can recognize. You want to go there and you want to be able to follow them and hear what they have to say about things. And then you want to hold their feet to the fire when they say things you don't like. Then you want to bully them. You want to troll them and you want to silence them and, and force them to, to face consequences. But as a nameless, faceless troll, you face none. You have no consequences, which is not the way it would be in a town square. If you're standing in a town square, then, you know, you do something shitty. We're going to figure out who you are. We're going to figure out who you are. But on Twitter, oh, you get away with murder. You get away with murder. So I, I think that's hypocritical. It's unfair to our democracy. It's unfair to those of us who put our names and faces out there and then have to face consequences for it. And I know some people say, well, but we're not public figures. You're still a member of society. And as a member of society, you have to face consequences for the shit you say and do. And being on Twitter is part of that. Like you cannot go and bully people and silence people and, um, you know, and and cre and have this like mob mentality and say things that maybe are would be considered racist and bigoted and you, you make somebody else have consequences to it. But you don't have to face any consequences. You're a human being and a member of society as well. Just because I'm a more public person doesn't mean I'm any more or less of a person than you. You're a person. I'm a person. We all have to face consequences for our actions and our words. So I take ethical issue with the platform. So what I did after I said on Twitter, which the reason why I posted what I posted, I posted a tweet saying, hey, Jack, um, if you want to solve this problem with, uh, with uh, you know, trolls and, and, you know, potential, you know, bad actors infiltrating, then make everybody verify and make everybody use an actual photo of their face and their name on Twitter, just like the rest of us, just like I do as a person. My name's Kim Iverson. You saw my face. You saw my name. That's what it was. So make everybody else do that too. And I got like 50-50, like half the people thought it was a terrible idea. Half the people thought it was a good idea. So obviously I posted that tweet because I was already feeling pissed off about this topic, right? Nothing provoked that except for the fact that I'm just fed up. I'm fed up with the bullies and the trolls on Twitter. Not me. I've never been bullied or trolled. At a principle though, I'm sick of seeing it towards other people. And I'm sick of the nameless, faceless trolls getting away with it. So I posted that and then I got 50% backlash from it. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck you guys. <laughs> you know, I'm out. Then you know what? Fine. If you all want to remain anonymous, nameless, faceless, then I'm going to do the same thing. And let's just see how fun that is. So yeah, I'm there. I'm on there. I'm on there. You just don't know who I am. So I'm going around bullying and trolling and saying shit and you know, nobody will know it's me. I mean, you know, that's the way it's going to be. Now, I, th I think I might reactivate my Twitter. I have like 30 days. Twitter gives me like 30 days to think about it and to make sure I really want to do this. And then after 30 days, they totally delete it. 
before 30 days, I can go back and reactivate it. I might reactivate it under the caveat of I will not interact with you if you are a non-person. So if you if you're not putting your name and your face on your Twitter and it's and and I can't like verify that by then, you know, if I'm about to have a conversation with you about something, if I can't then like Google your name and see that you're on Facebook or something like that, um, I might just say I'm not going to interact with any any nameless, faceless person. If, if you're anonymous, like, look, you can't walk into my office with a mask and expect to have a conversation with me and not tell me your name. So why would I do that with you on Twitter? Why would I have a conversation with you when you're not willing to be a human being to me? Like that's, I just, so obviously you could tell I'm really fired up about this. Um, I hate Twitter. I've always hated Twitter for this reason. It's hypocritical. The platform um, is a utility. It's essential to democracy because politicians use it. Yet Twitter silences people. And the anonymous trolls bully people and also silence people with zero consequences. And I'm fed up. So I like Facebook better. I don't like Facebook, the company and the ethics behind Facebook. But what I like about Facebook is that, um, you know, pretty much everybody's a name and a face. So if we're in a conversation about politics, like I can see who you are. I can at least like look up where you live and you know, make sure that I'm having a conversation, a debate with a real human being and not somebody just hiding behind a, a, a cartoon picture and a fake name. I mean, that's just not fair to me as a person or to anybody else. It's just, I don't give a shit if you're a public person or not. Uh, we're all just people, members of society. So, um, okay, James, like I get it. Like you disagree because one of the great things is that people can be anonymous. Be anonymous somewhere else. You can't walk around in real life anonymously. You're not allowed to wear a mask. Twitter to me is a utility. So if you don't agree, if, if Twitter is not a utility, then fine. But it along the lines became a utility. Our politicians use it as a platform. So it's essential to our democracy to know what the hell they're saying. Now, is that the case on Reddit? No, go be anonymous on Reddit. Go be anonymous on 8chan, 4chan. Go be anonymous anywhere else. But anon anonymity, the internet is now real life. So you can't just assume to be anonymous anywhere. Some of the pushback I got for this, by the way, were like, like ridiculous comments like, oh, yeah, like the government, I want to give them the government my ID and the government my uh, my name. And, you know, it's like, uh, OK, yeah, you, so the government doesn't know where you live right now. So you're not you don't have a driver's license. You're not registered with the government. They don't have your address on file. And oh, by the way, you probably have an Amazon account and Amazon knows where you live and they have your credit card. And oh, by the way, they also have the largest CIA account. And so they know what you're buying and they're tracking that shit. And oh, Google also is in cahoots with the government. And, you know, Google knows what you're Googling and Google knows about your Gmail account and they can get into it and find out what the hell you're writing. I mean, look, guys, like it, when you walk outside, you're being surveilled. You know, you've got cameras citywide constantly. Look, look at what happened to Jesse Smollett, right? Where, like we could track his ass to find out he was lying. All that stuff. You know, you, you're you're not living. So Twitter, oh, Twitter's where you draw the line. Oh, no, I don't want to give my ID to Twitter. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. So the government knows everything else about you and you've given your information to all these big tech companies. But no, Twitter's where you draw the line. Come on, give me a break. It doesn't work like that. Twitter's a, it's a public resource. It's, it's uh, a town square. Now, if somebody were to make a different type of Twitter where politicians are not on that, I mean, Reddit is kind of like that in a way. You don't need to be, um, you can be anonymous on Reddit. I don't have a problem with that because I don't believe Reddit is a utility. I don't think it's gotten to that point yet. But if it does one day, then you have to face the consequences of becoming a utility. One of those is you don't get to be anonymous to your utility company. You just don't. 